Mason Reese, sex tape 2014. Gonna happen? Not gonna happen? I'm putting it out there right now. <laughs> Ju Julie Dolan, Katie Kurtzman. Nice little three way sex tape. Beautiful thing. Not Jerry Jewel. Okay. Jerry okay. Jewel. Give me that yeah. too. What's probably the weirdest thing? The weirdest letter well, or the weirdest no, thing? Uh, that you but when I was young, my hair was bright red, like almost fire into red. And women would actually come up to me on the streets of New York and ask me for pieces of my hair so they could send it to Clairol to get a color match for my oh hair. Oh my God. Oh yeah. I had a woman ask me to baptize her child. I said, well, <laughs> I'm the wrong religion, but I, you know, I'll be happy to uh, you know, do what I can. Can I get that Mason Reese red? Yeah, you know? no, no, that, that's what happened. And then I got a fan letter from a woman who had twins who named one, they sent them the other Reese. Wow. Once you kind of reach this uh, level of, of fame, you start being surrounded by other famous people, right? And then oh, yeah, and sure. you, you get to realize that is not the person I thought it was. Um, well, you know, there's an old expression, you know, you never want to meet your idols, you know, because oftentimes you get disappointed. Yeah. Um, but I got to tell you, hanging out at the greatest club you know, clubs in New York City back in the 80s. And yeah, I mean, I wasn't, at that point, I wasn't at my height of my career at that point. But I was still pretty well known. So I mean, I'm, I'm hanging out with, you know, I'm just hanging out with everybody, man. You know, Celeste Stallone and Eddie Murphy and Mike Tyson and, you know, all the models and just everybody, you know, Bon Jovi. I mean, we're all just hanging out. Yeah, I watched some Howard Stern back then. No, this, this is way before that. <laughs> I, I did Howard Stern too, and he was very nice to me. Yeah, he really is my, he's a nice guy. He really I'm is. You, man, he was unbelievably nice to me. He never ripped me apart. And I found out later that that's probably because he actually really liked me. But I remember when I did his show, it was on uh, WWOR in New York. It was out of New Jersey. His original TV show. I'm talking about 20 years ago, whatever it was. And he kept talking on the show. I hate this show. This show is crap. I don't ever want to do this ever again. And I hate you and I hate all these people. And then we would go to break. And he would turn and go, wow, this is good television. <laughs> yeah, it was all an act. It was yeah. like all bravado. It was all for show. That's what we need, Mark. You got to start being... Toby, shut up. Yeah. I'm so sick of you. Hate this. <laughs> I hate it. I'm like, you're out of here. <laughs> go away. Put your pants back on, That's Mark. Right. That's it. When, because uh, you have a hearing impairment. Yes. Did was music was it more difficult for you or was it actually like more well, captivating to you because of that? I realized that I grew up on songs that were totally made up in my head. They Ooh. didn't even match the words that were actually were the words. I mean, I can remember when I was in chorus in the sixth grade and we had to sing "Born Free," and. I was the only kid on that stage singing Humphrey as free as the wind. Are you really into gangster rap? No, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> if I had been brought up some gangster rap, would, do you know who, like, you know, no, you don't know NWA? Oh, yeah, I know, I know who they are. Oh, okay. I know they are. Okay. You know I can't what, tell you know what it songs, is. but I know who they are. Jerry, did you ever listen to any rap? No. No. Currently? No. You're still not into rap? No. It's been around for a long time I now. No, I can't wrap my brain around. <laughs> there you go. Oh, wow. Was, oh, Mark, you just got a little yeah. bad burrito look on your face. Yeah, just now. that's true. Yeah. <laughs> you? How about you with the, the rap? Uh, I can't say it's even close to my favorite genre, but when I was 17, we had a... The kids were... In high school, you graduate and go to Beach Week. I lived in Maryland, and you go down to the shore and go hang out and you know, just debauchery of no. high school kids graduating. And we would, one of my friends had a, a Jeep with the open, you know, open windows and all that. And there'd be like nine of us, like suburban Catholic white kids sitting in this Jeep, cranking NWA, singing the lyrics. And I'm in like a polo shirt and khaki <laughs> shorts, like singing NWA. Oh, yeah. Like, what an idiot I must have looked like back then. Book. That second to Burt Reynolds. I got the second highest level of fan mail that anyone had ever gotten. That's all I have to say. I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. That's all I got.